Oh, hey guys, it's your boy. I've been working on a review for the Polaroid One Step Plus, but if I'm being honest with you guys, I've had a few hiccups along the way. I've had a few packs of Polaroid film give me, uh... Let's just say less than stellar results. Now, it's no secret that instant film isn't the most reliable medium on the planet. The new Polaroid Originals film has its problems, but I've also been doing some digging, and I found a few things that you can do for better results, even if you're shooting out in the colder weather. I know, winter's almost over. I mean, the groundhog saw its shadow. Or, or it didn't, I don't remember what the good one is. But hey, none of our mayors dropped and killed the groundhog this year. So that's a, that's a good thing, that, that's a real story. Google that, New York's a crazy place. Anywho, I have six tips for you for better results with your Polaroid film. These are things that might be obvious to some, but to newer users or people like me who don't read up on Polaroid's website regularly, what, what a niche group we are, these tips could come in really clutch for you. And they can save you some wasted money on film. Polaroid defines the cold as below 55 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 degrees Celsius. Below that temperature range, Polaroid photos tend to come out overexposed. According to Polaroid, they can also lack contrast and have a greenish tint. This is a big problem I encountered this winter. At first, I thought I was using expired film. Turns out it was just too cold. But hey, check this out. If you pop those bad boys in your pocket, you know, close to the warmth of your body, they'll come out more reliably. They also encourage you to keep the whole camera right near your body to help it out a little bit too. It's uh, kind of like in Star Wars when they got in that tauntaun. But yeah, keep the camera close to you. I mean, hey, they give you that great camera strap. Why wouldn't you want to wear it, right? On the flip side, Polaroid defines shooting in the heat as above 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 28 degrees Celsius. Above that temperature range, your photos will come out with a yellow reddish tint. You can avoid this by chilling your film in the fridge. More on that in a second. You can also let your photos develop in the air conditioning or an insulated bag. So throw those suckers in your cooler. Polaroid does emphasize though, keep your photos away from moisture. If you've been on my channel for a bit, then you've likely noticed that I keep my unopened packs of Polaroid film in the fridge. The reason I do that is because, well, uh, if, if you read the box, ding ding ding, best stored refrigerated. On the Polaroid website, they also specify that you should lay the film on the side with the Greatest surface area. That's a re really interesting phrasing there. I don't actually do that though because they, they would just fall right out of the fridge every time I open the door. And before you comment, yes that is a designated spot in my fridge for the film. And, and no, I'm not really inclined to move them. I haven't had any problems storing them this way and uh, plus I need room for the beer. If you do go the fridge route, which you should because they say you should, just let it come up to room temperature before shooting. They recommend an hour as the film doesn't perform well in the super cold temperatures. They also recommend using the full pack of film within two months of loading it. You know, just uh, cause of temperature changes and moisture. Don't you just love that word? Everyone has a friend who cringes at the word moist. <laughs> I like it. Once you shoot the photo, you can use the light shield to protect your precious little heliophobic baby from the light. It truly is just like they say, shield it from light till the picture is in sight. You can keep the light shield on until the blue opacification layer spreads across the frame. Then according to them, you can leave the photo face down on a table, inside a jacket pocket, inside an empty film box, under your armpit, shoved right up your ass. <laughs> oh wait, I made up that last one. If you're gonna be taking a bunch of photos back to back, you know, you wanna flex on your friends, you don't even care that a pack of eight exposures cost you 20 bucks, you're the Polaroid king or queen. Well, just make sure you get them covered up, pocket them, toss them into a box, whatever you gotta do, just keep the temperature thing in mind. In my experience, I found that the right temperature is the key to all of this. Just like getting the audience to like Jar Jar, that was, that was the key to all of that. A lot of Star Wars references in this one, I like it. Keep your photos in a dry place, and you want to avoid that, uh, moisture. Polaroid recommends that you don't put photos into any sort of archival sleeves until 30 days after you first made the photo. And this is just due to the chemicals drying out and all that jazz. Alright, let's talk dates. So this is a good one. I actually didn't realize this one for a while, but the dates printed on the packs of Polaroid film are actually production dates, not expiration dates. According to Polaroid, the film should be good 12 months from the printed production date on the pack of film. 
Now surely that doesn't account for terrible storage. If someone leaves the film baking out in the sun on a 100 degree summer day or something, your results might vary. But keep in mind, expired film can behave strangely. Sometimes it can be a beautiful thing, other times, eh, not so much. So be mindful of the dates. Dropping 20 bucks on film is something I take seriously. The less of a gamble the experience is, the happier I am. The last tip I have for you guys today is about your rollers. Polaroid explains, in order to spread the developer paste between the negative and positive components of the photo, each picture goes through two metal rollers as they exit the film door. So if they're dirty, you'll see all sorts of defects on your photo, which can range from these blue marks, or as Polaroid likes to call them to make them sound all fancy and scary, oh pacification failure. Polaroid recommends cleaning your rollers every two to three packs, which is Wow, that's uh, that's way more than I would have expected. I shot like 20 packs, probably 20 or 30 packs on my One Step 2, and uh, I didn't clean those rollers once. Cleaning them is simple. All you gotta do is follow the damn train, CJ. I'm just kidding, I couldn't, couldn't resist that one. All you have to do is open the film door and clean the rollers with a slightly dampened cloth. Polaroid specifies that it should be a soft cloth, you know, so uh, I guess don't go using your hard cloth. And they actually made a really good step-by-step -step tutorial on how to clean out your rollers on the newer cameras, so I'll link that below. Be sure to go check that out. I hope these tips helped you out. Do you have any cool Polaroid tips? Let me know in the comments below, homies. I'd love to hear all about it. One Step Plus review coming soon. I've been having a blasty blast with that camera, honestly, and I'm really excited to share my thoughts with you. Alright guys, make sure you hit subscribe and share the video, why don't you, or something, I don't know, hit me on Twitter, MySpace, Instagram too, I'm, I'm at all of them, alright, bye. I guess I'll go fuck myself. Anywho, here are tick plus, but if I'm being honest with you, these are things that might come obvious. Oh my god. On the Polaroid website, they specify that it... it